Greatness will only come to you if you run to it. Greatness will only arise when you step in the fire and you're not afraid to get burned. Mistakes happen. Trials and tribulations happen. Deaths happen. But you gotta keep going. You gotta keep believing. I need you to develop that what now mentality. You know exactly what I'm talking about. When you lose that job, when everything disappears, what now? Let me tell you. What now is dedication, relentless effort to achieve your dreams, putting a plan together, not just jumping into the water with no life vest, putting a strategic plan together to be greater than you were yesterday, to be greater than anything anybody could ever imagine. See, this thing about dreams, we believe that it's up to other people to believe in. And the truth is, the only person that needs to believe in you is you. Sometimes when terrible things happen to us, we go into this dark shell and we stay there and we believe that this darkness will be our home forever. But you gotta understand that every pain is a lesson. Every lesson that you learn in the process of life, it's turning you into something phenomenal. Life is painful. In it, we lose some of the greatest things we ever had. But one of the hardest things to do is to keep going, is to keep chasing. You show the beautiful, beautiful taste of greatness. You blend your trials and tribulations with triumph and celebration. Because your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother, they're depending on you. But first you must ask yourself, are you willing to lay down and bleed so you can see the dream? They won't understand this grind. This blood, sweat, and tears of waking up every day, doing something over and over again, knowing that you may have to get paid for it. Knowing that you don't even have a meal to eat at night. You see, that is the true sign of a champion. When I say rise, king and queens, I say rise for you, not for me. That freshman is getting ready to go to college, are you going to take the obstacles that come with it? Are you going to study when they party? Are you going to dream when they sleep? Are you going to beat the obstacles? This is the question you must ask yourself. What we hold back for? What are we holding back for?